today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bionic 10X Pro Styling Iron. Um, this retails at Ulta for $230, um, which is why I think it's very important to test the effectiveness of the straightener. Um, so I'm going to show you first is what I did, the protein treatment that I did with my hair before I straightened it, and then also my wash routine along with my deep conditioner. Um, I think these are really two really important steps if you're going to be straightening your hair because you definitely don't want damage. And then I'll also show you guys how I... Um, worked my heat protection. So first off, before I did anything, um, this is on no washed hair. Um, and I think that's really effective for protein treatments is to do it before you wash your hair. Um, so with the products that I use for my protein treatment is the Aztec Secret Healing Clay. Um, and then what I also do is mix this with my apple cider vinegar. Um, and you can kind of see the two ingredients diffuse together, which is pretty interesting. Um, it is a little bit harder to put the materials into your hair just because it does get really thick and sometimes it does like fall over the place as it's drying. Um, so I'd say probably get like a huge bottle um, and slowly brush it into your hair maybe with like a dye brush or any other like small uh, detailed brush. Um, once I let, once I finish putting this into my hair then I let it dry fully um, and then that's when I'd wash it off and then begin my wash routine which I will show you guys the products I use for that. Okay so for my hair texture I have more of a um, very fine hair, uh, very very curly. But the problem that I had for about a year was that I couldn't find the right products for my hair. So my hair would be really, really thin, like just too much product in it that it really thinned out my hair um, until I find, found like the really important products that I use now. Um, and now I can see like the volume in my hair and my curls are actually a lot more defined. Um, so I've been using these products for about a year now as well. Um, and they work great. Like I don't have any downsides to the products. Um, I use the curl cream, I use the detangler, and then I also like mix a couple other different products with my hair. Um, so the first thing that I use for my shampoo is this peppermint. It's called Peppermint Eden. Um, and what I do is I mix this with tea tree oil. Um, once I first get it, um, while I'm washing my hair, I can feel the like sizzle within my hair. It feels really, really good. Um, after that, I wash my hair with the MOA products. Um, it's actually a shampoo bottle. Uh, this gives my hair a lot of moisture, so the problem I have with shampoos is that it doesn't give my hair enough moisture. And this is a product that I found does. So it doesn't strip away at my hair, like I still feel like my hair keeps most of the oils that I have in it, but it also helps to clean my hair very well. So once again, I'll just show you guys up close, the MOA shampoo. And then along with that, I use the MOA conditioner. Um, like I said before, I love, love, love these products because it keeps the moisture in my hair. It doesn't strip away all the oils that I have in my hair. I'm still able to keep the volume that I have, but it also helps to create my curl texture as well. Also, when I'm straightening, it just keeps the moisture in my hair. So this is the moisturizing conditioner from MOA. And then once I'm done washing that out of my hair, I will use my deep conditioner and leave this in. I actually sometimes leave it in overnight, especially if I'm straightening my hair, because I want to stay away from any damage in my hair. Also, split-ins, because split-ins are horrible. Um, but this is the hair treatment mask that I use. And you can find these products at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, anything like that. Um, and they're actually not as expensive as you'd think. They're actually pretty affordable. And for me, anytime that, that I see these products at the stores, I just stock up on them because I know that it works really well for my hair. So those are the things that I use to wash my hair. Um, now I'm just going to wash this deep conditioner out of my hair. Okay, so and then I'm going to off. I just um, wash my deep conditioner off. Wash my deep conditioner out. <laughs> um, and what um, I like to use to just dry my hair a little bit, um, just so it's not like dripping out of the shower, is my towel, my microfiber towel. Um, this helps to not have too much frizz with my hair. I know I like the volume, but I hate the frizz um, with straightening and with my curls. Um, so what I'm going to start with first is just putting my heat protection in my hair so that I don't have any damage because I am going to blow dry my hair um, and straighten it as well. Um, so what I like to use is the Chi 34 Iron Guard. So these are one of the thermal sprays that you can spray on your hair before blow drying, straightening any heat damage that you're going to put on there. Um, and then this is another just piece of hair protection that you can use. I got this one from Sally's. Um, it's called the I Am Heat Protecting Spray. Um, I use them both because I think it's so important to just have a lot of protectant in your hair um, so you're not getting a lot of split ends and you're not like, getting pieces like broken off while you're straightening. Um, which is why I looked into getting the straightener because that's the problem I had is that um, I had the old Chi straightener um, which a lot of like people that I watched on YouTube and stuff like that give a lot of recommendations for it. Um, but the problem I had with this Chi straightener that I had or that I guess I still have but I don't use anymore um, is that it doesn't allow me to adjust the temperature, um, and I think that's really important because if my hair can straighten at a lower heat temperature, then it is used on the straight flat iron, and that's what I would like to do. Um, and also, a problem I had about three to four months in is that the plates get stuck in my hair as I'm straightening, so I would literally have damage to my hair because it, as I'm straightening, it would pull out pieces of my hair. Um, so I don't know if this was just specific to the flat iron that I had got when I first bought this, or if it was just maybe me not like taking care of the straightener. Um, but one thing I always did is like kept it in the box and stuff like that, so I don't know if it was due to... Um, I mean, just like maybe like you know, putting it down hard or something like that. Um, I feel like it's just something that happens over time with like the cheese straighteners. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to watch some reviews and see what is so great about the Bionic 10X. Um, 
uh, sorry, one more thing that I actually forgot to let, mention to you guys is that I also use this silk infusion. Um, I'll use it before I blow dry, and then I'll also use it after I blow dry, just for like the shine and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm gonna start with first is just putting my heat protectant in. I finished putting all of the heat protectant in my hair and as you can see it's just kind of a bit frizzy still kind of damp and wet um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to start actually just a couple quick things about my blow dryer um so the cheap pro i got at marshall's for 59.99 um and i love it because it comes with my diffuser it comes with the dryer attachment and then also just from like one of my old straighteners i have this comb um this just helps to like detangle my hair as i'm blow drying and i think it works great um i don't think it's a big deal to invest in like a $400 Dyson blow dryer when I really don't really straighten my hair and uh, blow dry it as often um, but I think it's so important to just have a really good straightener that's not like damaging your hair but as like for blow drying I don't think it's super super important for me to get invest in like a really really good blow dryer just because I really try to like avoid blow drying as much as well so like I probably won't even blow dry my hair too much just to make sure that it is um getting all the water out and I'm not like straightening just water in my Okay, so um, as you guys can see, I just uh, ended up <laughs> replacing this attachment to my dryer with this attachment to my, to my dryer because um, I was able to get my hair a little bit more dry. Uh, and then as I blow dry my hair, I ran my hair through, um, I don't know what this brush is called, we'll just call it the circular brush. Um, you can find it at Sally's, I know I've seen some at Target as well. Um, I waited like a month before I bought mine just because I was looking to find mine on clearance and finally I did find it on clearance at Sally's, um, depending on like what kind you get. Um, I like the big ones because it's able to get through a lot of my hair and as you can tell my hair is very full because it's only half of my hair and it's already like super bushy and stuff like that um and it was kind of hard to work through as you could see um so this just helps to like really get the dryness in my hair and i can feel that like my hair feels really dry now um so what i'll do is i'll turn on the other section and i'll just see how i work my hair through with the blow dryer on that side I'm behind, though. I'm sipping on
is completely blow dried. Um, I don't feel any wet parts. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of my Silk Infusion Chi Protector in my hair. Um, just because I can feel my hair feels really dry too. Um, so it's going to have to add just a little bit of moisture, a little bit of shine to it. And then I'll begin straightening. <laughs> my hair into four sections um just so that i'm able to get a consistent straightness within my hair i'm trying to gonna try to evenly part it This is the first section I'm going to start on for straightening my hair. Um, so actually I'm going to start by opening up the package for the straightener. Wow, very beautiful interior design. Wow, so it comes with the straightening gloves, your hand stopper. I love that because I'm always doing that every time I straighten my hair. I'll accidentally touch the place I'm like... So I'm assuming this is the warranty and all of the instructions and stuff like that, which I've already done a lot of my research on YouTube about. Um, I do know that you do have 30 days to register your device with the um, company to ensure that you're able to get your five-year warranty for the straightener. Um, so I know that's very important when you're first getting a straightener. Okay, so this is what the straightener looks like outside of the packaging. Um, so now we'll be the straightener. In these fast times, chasing lifelines for a lifetime. I've had my heart in the right place at the wrong time with the right girl in another world. Maybe we would be together still if you hit us and resent that. I don't give a shit, I'll let it spill. I don't give a damn, I'll keep it real. Cause by now I hope you know the drill. I would never lie, young forever, I ain't never gonna die. Told me grow up and I went and showed them why. I could make it, I showed them the power in youth, power in truth. The younger you stay, the closer you are to your roots. That's the reason I know. I can teach you how to hit the skies, rise above them without getting high. But if it help a bit, take a little hit, take a little sip. Put your mind at ease, where you got the keys. You can have your dreams, that's up to you, not what others believe. Jeez. I swear that's the part that took wrong is for me Cause when I drop into a beat I detach from the world, view it under my feet Orbit around my dreams And there I perceive my reality and what it means Music is where I can breathe, the world in between What I am, what I was, what I will be It's the only place that I feel free Hope you feel me I am a lost boy from Neverland Usually hanging out with people Peter Pan Just hanging out Thank you. 
you ain't never gotta be alone I found company inside a song Take it off your chest, throw it in a poem If they try to flex, show them where you going Hating on your past, kill them with your moment When you get the chance, drop it like you stole it She said, I don't wanna grow up I gotta go keep my passions alive Please say you've heard of a place I can fly Where nothing's impossible, that's where I gotta go They said the only way up was to get in line I'm telling you that somebody lied As someone who's been to the other side Blurring the lines between earth and mind She's a lost girl in a lost world But I know what she's trying to find Some call it music I call it Neverland Where we can take flight And don't have to ever land You can stay young forever if you follow your heart, no one nine to five, turn the soul apart. Keep it safe, you can keep your soul in art. We can live alive, we would rather die. If I don't live for this, I am not alive. I don't deserve the breath, I don't deserve the steps, don't deserve the criticism or compliments. This is who I am, this is what I do. Outside of Neverland, I don't have a clue. They call us lost, but this is the place where I was found. Take my hand, Wendy, we're home now. I'm a lost boy from Neverland. Usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods. Always on the run. Captain Hook, run, run, lost boy, they say to me, away from all of reality. Peter Pan, that's what they call me, I promise that you never be lonely. Peter Pan, that's what they call me, I promise that you never be lonely. Flat iron, and I paid probably sixty dollars for my other cheap flat iron that I got from Marshalls. So the difference is not really that much. Like the most thing I would probably say is time and shine to my hair. Other than that, there's not too much of a difference between the two. Um, but I was able to get the results that I was looking for. Like my hair does feel really straight. It was really really quick for me versus the time that I normally take to stretch. Uh, sorry, to flat iron my hair.